Oh, sir, it's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Man, what what do I have to do to make Big Ram Enterprises be like the family? Be like the, how you, you know, just, we got so much in common. I'm just trying to figure out how can I blend my music with the rest of Are you kidding me, baby? You're already there. Look, you got some, look, you're a sharp grass man. You got the colorful watch. Okay. You got the shades, but the shades are very important. Just remember that. You got it all, baby. I even got a horn. I don't have a megaphone, but I got I got like a, a L horn too. Though. Woo! You you got that, buddy. You got everything. All you gotta do is show me the money now, baby. Oh, it's show me the money. Actually, wait, we out there, though. Show me the money. Yeah, come on, let's go, let's baby. Go. Come on, come on with me. Woo! Red the thread coming to you live and in off the grid. You say. Red the threat. Where you been, brother? Where you been? You see, I had to step back for a little while, take a vacation. Joe Mama, what's vacation mean? Well, means when you gotta find yourself, when you gotta get back to my roots. Gonna find myself, put a couple varmints on the ground. You see, my terms had come up with Pro Wrestling 225. Rev Squad kind of went crashing down, if you know what I mean. New school, Clayton Cool, he caught Red the Threat napping. See, I could beat him on my best days and my worst days. All right, but Clayton Cool got the best of me. So I had to take a step back and I said, Red the Threat, what you got? All right, so now it's 2018. I received an email. Yeah, I'm off the grid, but I still got satellites and I got this uh, here's fancy cell phone. Gotta love modern day technology. So I got an email from Pro Wrestling 225. Said they re signed Mike White. All right. So they they offered me a, a, a spot as well. So I'm gonna enter myself in this Royal Rumble. Cause see, if I'm not mistaken, at Super Gold 2 Rumble or, or whatever kind of Rumble it is, at Super Gold 2. Got a chance at the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Championship. So I'm going to move on to bigger and better and better things. 2018, Red the Threat coming to you. Copac Rec Center, Plaquemine, Louisiana. Be there. What's up, guys? This is Cody Hawkins uh, coming here to drop a message. Uh, Concerning 225's next show, January 27th at the Copac Jam in Plaquemine, Louisiana. 225 will be presenting Super Gold 2. Now, uh, before I get to the to the meat and potatoes of this little video, I want to be able to thank uh, the general manager of 225 and especially the fans out there for uh, welcoming me into this federation with open arms and me being able to showcase what I can do. Even though last show at uh, Fright Night, uh, I was pretty much getting my backside handed to me by Robert Gotze until I was actually able to think on my feet. <laughs> and it took a couple of really rough shots for me to start thinking, but a lot has changed since Fright Night. Training has doubled. Working out has doubled. As a matter of fact, I'm in my truck right now. I just pulled up to my house. Okay, I just got back from the gym. And I have a lot of confidence whenever I say I'm ready. Now, I don't know what kind of match I'm going to be in. I'm not sure who I'm facing. But whoever it is, just know that I'm ready. And I ain't going down without a fight. Who knows? I could be put into the Battle Royal. Oh, man. Being with the likes of Robbie E. and Vordell Walker and all the rest of the top stars in 225, that's going to be a hell of an experience for me. Hopefully, y'all know this. But just know that I'm not quitting. I'm not going down without a fight. And with the fans of 225 supporting me, cheering me on, there's nothing I can't do. So with that being said, I'll see y'all at Super Gold 2.
Robbie E. in the house, January 27th, super gold to rumble. I am coming back to Louisiana, and I expect y'all to be there because it is going to be a bigger and better and crazier and more hard-hitting show than last time. Robbie E. is coming back.